Welcome to All But the Travel, the Craft Trade Show Alternatives Workshop Series. I'm Cindy Bison, and I've got my backpack full of creative supplies so that we can bring these projects directly to you. No need to worry about finding the right conference room or being late for class, because we're offering these classes to you 24 hours a day at your convenience. Are you ready? Let's... Today I'm going to show you how to make this whimsical greeting card featuring a scoring technique that makes the effect of embossed cardstock. The inside is as fun as the outside. Fold a piece of 11 by 4 and a quarter inch burgundy cardstock in half. To create the look of embossed cardstock, place the short edge upward on the score buddy. At the 2 inch mark, score lengthwise. Turn the cardstock and score every quarter inch. Then repeat on the back of the card. To make your embossed areas stand out a bit more, rub them gently with the Lasting Impressions Fine Scuffer. For white core cardstock, this will remove the outer layer and expose the white beneath. For solid cardstocks, like this one, it will just lighten the shading a bit to help make your embossed areas appear to pop a little bit more. We're using the Colorbox Crafters Ink to stamp the cute cupcake from the Unity Stamps Counts as a Fruit Set. Crafters Ink is a versatile pigment ink that works on wood, paper, fabric, and more. It has an extended drying time, but if you rub the cardstock first with the perfect crafting pouch, then gently pat the image after you stamp, it will still dry quickly so that you can move on. Trim around the stamped cupcake and ink the edges with the squash dye-based ink pad. Then cut a pennant shape from coordinating pattern paper. This is going to be the mat for your cupcake image. Ink the edges of that with the Aqua Crafters ink and then dry with the perfect crafting pouch. Scrap Perfect's Embelly Jelly makes it easy to work with small embellishments like these dewdrops from the robin's nest. The tip picks them up and it makes it easy to place them exactly where you want them to be. I think that these cherry red accents make a perfect cherry accent for this adorable cupcake image. Mount the smile sticker on a piece of blue patterned paper and ink the edges with the squash ink pad. Then mount to the front of the card. Stamp your verse because of the cherry it counts as a fruit with the aqua crafters ink. Then ink the edges with the yellow squash dye based pad. Cut a mat from coordinating pattern paper and edge the edges of that with the aqua ink and then dry with the perfect crafting pouch. Cut a pennant shape from blue patterned paper, ink the edges of that, and mount it as shown on the inside of the card. This cardstock was scored with a score buddy to give the embossed effect and then scuffed with the lasting impression scuffer so that the white below would show through. I used Lasting Impressions Memory Mixer 4 software to quickly find a layout that I liked for my photos and other page elements. Memory Mixer software will also create great pages which you can print, it'll auto-generate or you can create your own custom designs. 
or you can use their templates as a format for creating actual paper projects like I did with this layout. This little cardstock pocket was made to hold a removable journaling block. I found that when using the best glue ever for this type of application, it works best if you apply it and then let it dry until it's clear before mounting it. That way the bond is quicker as the glue has began to set. The little library card journaling block was cut from a piece of patterned paper. I used my Embelly Jelly to add some Robin's Nest Dewdrop embellishments as accents where the original template had additional text. Now it's time for a crafty tip from the All But The Travel designer suitcase. Lasting Impressions Memory Mixer software truly makes scrapbooking easier than ever. The more I learn about this program, the more intrigued I am. It's easy to learn and there are almost endless options for beginners through advanced digital scrapbookers and the designs translate wonderfully to actual paper layouts. Having this software available to spark my creative muse when it comes to a template for a layout is great for those moments when I have a creative block. It's versatile, you can use their templates as provided with Quick Mix, or make almost endless alterations to customize the final project your way. Mm -hmm.